Basket of Apples is an important work by French painter Paul Cézanne and currently resides at the Art Institute of Chicago. Here we dissect the artwork itself and place it within the artist's overall career. Paul Cézanne would go to extraordinary lengths to master his handling of still life art. He would paint and draw the same objects over and over again, never tiring of his desire to master this art form. Cézanne would essentially revive the stale genre and his experimental use of perspective would bring about the Cubist art movement shortly after. Artists liked to use fruit within his paintings for reasons that went far beyond just their aesthetic value to each artwork. He lived in the countryside and understood their character, their smell and also their background in how they came to arrive on his table. As the basket of apples, some of the best examples of his still life work include Still Life with Apples, The Blue Vase and Apples and Oranges. It was around the mid 1870s that Cezanne started to devote more of his time to the still life genre and initially wanted to bring more dimension into his paintings but eventually would develop whole new ideas about the, around the use of perspective that would inspire some major artists who followed on in the first half of the 20th century. Cezanne's method was to use incredibly subtle gradations of colour which produced eye-catching re recreations rather than relying solely on dramatic lighting or shadows. Each and every element included in this painting was carefully arranged by the artist. The wine bottle at the top offers a vertical balance to the overall piece and sits centrally on the table. A tablecloth hangs over the edge in front of us several items of fruit helping to keep it from falling off completely. A large basket leans over, allowing many of the oranges and apples to roll out onto the table. To complete the setting, a small ceramic plate with bread is positioned in the right-hand corner. Paul Cézanne wanted to create a new reality which ran parallel to nature but was not restricted by the same laws. Everything is carefully balanced across the table with the tablecloth overhanging in one direction whilst the basket pushes away in the opposite direction. In previous centuries, still life art was merely used as a means to display technical mastery rather than to innovate as Cezanne would do in the late 19th century. This basket of apples was completed in 1893, at which point Paul Cezanne would have been approaching his mid-50s Painting therefore represents an artist at the peak of his powers, working in the manner that he chooses rather than pandering to the needs of his patrons. Cezanne had also completed his artistic development by this point and was now entirely comfortable in the post-impressionist nature of his work, which had been forged and fostered over a number of decades. Head to the Art Institute of Chicago to see Paul Cezanne's The Basket of Apples in person. Within the 1920s, this painting changed hands several times between different collectors, but eventually made its way over to Chicago in the US and was acquired by the gallery in 1926.